Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to remove the vowels from the given string. Suppose I have a string, something like this one. This is my string. So in this, from this string, I just wanted to remove the vowels. Okay. And we need to print the value without vowels. Okay. That is what our expected one. Now, what is that vowels here? So now if suppose you go A, E, I, O, U. This is what your vowels. So now we'll store this variable, you know. This is we are going to store it in one variable called vowels. Okay, we'll take one by one character from the string and we need to check over here whether the particular string is available or not in the vowels. Okay, take one by one character from the string and check whether the character is available in this vowel. So we are going to use one of the string method that is index of method. So the index of method going to return you the index of the character. Right, index of the character. If suppose if the character is not in the string, then it is going to return you minus one. Okay. Now, what is our expected one? We need to print only the, you know, non-vowels. So, without vowels, we need to print them. So, we are going to check whether the particular character is available or not. If no, we are going to take the particular, you know, character and we are going to store it in another variable. Finally, we are going to print them. Okay. So, now, now let's see. I will go and write a script for that. First, what we have to do, uh, we have to initialize the string first. String is we are equal to, I can say, learning Java. Okay. So now this is what my string. So declare another variable, okay, for a vowels. So I can say, vowels equal to, here, you know, we are going to store not only the small case, even in the uppercase as well, because now here we have given the only small, you know, letters, right? lowercase but in if, suppose if you are uh, you know getting a value from the runtime then we are not sure about whether it is uh, coming into that uppercase or lowercase so we what we have to do in the verbals we need to add iou this is a small letters and also we can add it as a uppercase as well okay so now we are going to check whether the lowercase or uppercase letter is available in the screen that's what we are going to validate so now we are going to, you know, whatever the character is not vowels, right? So we are going to, you know, append with the another variable. For append that, we are going to use a string builder class. So I say string, string builder. I'm just creating an object of the string builder class. You can give any variable name equal to new string builder. So I'm just creating an object of the string builder class. Okay, this is a string builder is one of the class. So we have to get one by one character from the string and check whether the character is vowel or not, right? So we can go with the for loop, right? Using a for loop, we can do that. I mean, I'm going to use a for each loop. So we can use a for each loop as well. So for each loop, so you can add a, so we're going to take a one by one character, right? So for that, we can say str dot to character array. Okay, so two character array means it is going to take one by one character from the array, from the string. So now we can store it in another variable here in a for each loop, right? This is a character. So we can say here character can give any variable name. So I'm just using a for each loop to get one by one character from the string. We are using a two character array. We need to get one by one character within the string. So for that, we are using a method called two character array. Okay. Now we have to add a conditions over here. So in the conditions, it's need to check whether it is a vowel or not. Right. So for that, we can add a if condition. If vowels. So vowels means what? That we have already stored over here. This variable I am taking here. Vowels. Dot. We need to call an index of method. So this index of method, we need to pass the character. So we are getting one by one character and pass it to this variable, right? So now that variable I just passed. So it's going to check whether the particular character is available in the vowels, right? If suppose if it is yes, then it is going to return you the index of the particular string. Okay, if it is not there, it is going to return you minus one. Okay, if it is minus one, meaning that it is, that is not a vowel, okay? So now let's say, if, suppose if it is like that, then we need to append each character within the any one variable. So I can say result. So 
So result is that this variable we have added. We can add all the, we have a method called append is there. So we can pass the append. We can append the particular character, whether it is a non bubbles Okay, we are going to append over here. Okay, finally, we are going to print the values. Finally, we can print the string without bubbles So now I can print. Okay, now finally we are printing the result. So now let's run this. We'll see how this is working. So let's go and run. Okay, what did this happen? It is returning only the non vowels It's a removed all the vowels from the string. What, how it is happening? It's taken a one by one character. So first time it is taking a L, right? So L means it is it is checking that whether the particular L is available in this vowels, in this uh, AEIOU, right? In this vowel, it is not there. So if it is not there, the condition is it's going to return you the minus one. Okay. If it is minus one, then we are going to add the, we are going to append the character into the result, a result variable. Finally, it is going to, the, if the next iteration, it is going to take a E. And here it is going to return you the he is available in this character. So we are using an index of method. Index of method will going to return you the index of the particular character. So it is going to return you the 0, 1. So if it is, so here we are given a condition is minus 1. So if it is 1 means the condition is false. So it's not going to happen. It's coming into the next iteration. This is the way it is going to take one by one character from this string and it's going to validate. Okay. So I hope this is clear.